Welcome to Newborn Nursery Born. I'm Elena. This is baby Ariani and this is baby Oriani. So we are over here in the carriage. We're about to take a stroll. And let me tell y'all something, okay? And I'm speaking to the reborn doll community for grown women. You know, the grown women and men, if there is any, you know, that are watching because we don't discriminate on this channel. We love everybody and we love every doll. We don't discriminate and we ain't getting into this and that. But anyways, let me just say something. Don't let people define your happiness. Don't let people people's um sayings and you know comments affect you of taking your babies out to walk around and that you feel some type of way let me tell you something you have to walk with your head high no matter what you do in life i love my reborn babies <clears throat> i'm an artist first because that's what i first started doing was the reborn doll art okay and after the reborn doll art I fell in love with them and I couldn't resist them. So I started collecting in May and these are my first collection babies. I have more, but they're just not painted yet. And because I'm a reborn doll artist, I have a list of babies that I have to do for customers before I can do my own babies. But anyways, I've been away, you know, I was supposed to be on vacation and part of my vacation I got sick, you know, and I was fighting that for a little bit, but I'm back and I'm doing videos and I'm fine and I'm feeling really good. But I just want to point out to people like, take your babies out and do what your heart wants to do. Do you think I care that somebody call me a wacko because I have dolls in my carriage? I don't care what people say. I let people talk. I let people look stupid all day because what somebody says to me, whether it's a nice or a bad comment, it goes in there one ear and out the other, even if it's nice. I appreciate it, but I don't sweat the good or the bad. I just accept everything for what it is, everybody for who they are, even if their negative comments may sting me a little bit. But that's about it. I'm not going to get hurt over nobody or allow anybody to hurt me over a stupid comment because people want to be ignorant. What is it somebody's business if you take out your babies? You know what I'm saying? And you take a nice, beautiful walk. It's summer and people love to get out in the summer. And sometimes we don't want to be with people. We just want to go be by ourselves and do our thing. You know what I'm saying? So don't let people out here define who you are. Don't let people make you feel embarrassed or any type of way because even grown ass men around here in my neighborhood, they're start get, starting to get used to seeing me with my babies and guess what? They don't say nothing but nice things to me because no matter what these people say or what these people do, I'm not going to stop loving my dolls. I'm not going to stop being with my dolls, walking with my dolls, dressing my dolls, painting for my customers and hooking my people up. You know, a reborn doll artist. See, I'm not that reborn doll artist charging tons and tons of money. Because to me, a reborn doll artist has awesome communication. I talk to my customers. I call them on the phone. And I treat them with love, kindness, and respect. And I let them know that they are loved and thought of. I have one customer who has ordered a baby from me the day after my birthday. She ordered the baby may 31st my birthday is may 30th her baby her kit didn't even arrive yet and i ordered it i ordered it from uk from this lady it's a silicone full body girl baby she is beautiful a beautiful baby and 
her and I along the way have developed a friendship you know because now it's not so much about that baby because now her and I have a friendship and now there's an understanding between two people that came together clicked like that because of love and respect and communication that's the most important thing adult artist needs to bring to the table that love that a person needs to feel from you like you really got them that you're gonna do the best job you can on their baby and that uh, communication takes one goddamn minute of your time to call someone back one of my girlfriends it hurts my heart to hear her say to me Elena, it takes somebody one minute to call you back. And it really does. And there'll be doll artists out here that got kids and shit that take their sweet, lovely time and don't answer people. You know what? You saw that notification. Call that person back. Don't be an asshole. Don't treat people like that. Don't think, don't think because you're an artist, people got to put up with your shit. Because there's more artists out here that can do just as good a job as you, if not even better. And they're not just exposed yet. So don't be fresh to people. You know what I'm saying? Be careful how you treat people in this life. Mainly when you own a reborn doll business and you got these doll moms wanting their babies desperately. Reach out. Let them know what's going on. Let them know that that baby's late or that baby's on the way and you know that baby's coming and this you know around this time and this is what's going on and that communication may mean so much to that person you don't even know how much that means to a person so don't be quick to be an asshole to people you know i'm not speaking to everybody i'm speaking to the people that are reborn doll artists and i know you have a busy life i know you got busy channels I know y'all got many followers and all this and that. And, you know, your art is blowing up out here. But let me tell you something. I'm just getting started. And my Facebook is very, my Facebook is very beautiful. Because not only do I do reborn doll art. I used to be a nail tech last summer. I was doing nails out here. Lashes, makeup, hair. So I'm a woman of all trades, baby. I did some furniture, and let me tell you one thing I've always maintained. My respect to another person, no matter their race, no matter their color, no matter their background, or how much money they have or how much money they don't have. I treat everybody with love, kindness, and respect. I don't care where you're from, who you are, or how much money you make, or what car you drive, or if you're on the bus or the train. That's not who I am. And that's what I represent in my everything. My dolls are beautiful. I root my lashes. I root the hair. I root everything. But I also paint hair. Because sometimes rooting one strand at a time, it's not easy. And some of these doll buyers, they want full-headed baby hair. We don't got machines. That's by hand. So also be considerate. You know what I'm saying? And I know a lot of you doll buyers are. And that's what I love about that. That people are very, you know, kind and patient. But it's because somebody took that time to be patient and kind to them. So you got that right back. But let me tell you something. There's a bitch in every single one of us that are watching this video. And if you take that bitch out... You ain't gonna like what you're gonna get. So, you know, don't take the bitch out of people because once that bitch comes out, you better watch out. Because let me tell you something. I've had people swear at me, disrespect me, and guess what happened? For, for a, a $1,500 doll, I blocked them. You know why? Because your money don't mean shit to me. I got money. I make money. This ain't my only job. This is a hobby for me. This is something I do. I do it with passion. This is something I, I love doing. But I have to have a job to maintain, pay my bills, a steady income. This is not steady for me yet. 
I'm building myself there, you know, but it takes a lot. It takes love, communication, respect, honesty, you know what I'm saying? Have some gratitude and really, you know, be nice to people. And who cares what other people say? Don't don't sweat what other people say to you about you or how 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 their how how their opinion matters. No, it doesn't. Not even a husband opinion should matter to a woman in a certain sense. Why? Because you are an individual. You are not born with that person. You marry that person. That becomes your best friend, your everything, your confider, your confidant, your your lover, your everything. But you don't have to feel some type of way over a man. Nah, been there, done that for 20 years. Elena is a single woman and Elena is staying single for a long time. I'm all set with guys. I've had my experiences with men. I have plenty of men that would like to get an opportunity and I don't give that opportunity. It comes once in a lifetime and I'm not that type of woman. I don't like dating too many guys what means more to me is my babies and my business guys are nasty to me to me they are they only think of one thing sorry i'm thirsty i know i should have been a preacher but reborn doll artist was much more fun for me but anyway <laughs> i know i'm silly but that's the type of attitude you got to have in life. You can't let people be upsetting you, making you mad and feeling some type of way. Go right ahead and talk shit. I'm in my 40s and I'm walking two reborn babies in a beautiful carriage. And what? I bought everything in here. It was bought for me. <laughs> or I bought it. Or, you know, some way it was given to me. These are... Every, there's a little bit of everything in this carriage. Auntie Jen sent this to reborn baby Oriani. And this little dress right here and uh, hat, that was all me. But Auntie Jen hooked up baby Oriani and gave her this little outfit. She bought this outfit for baby Oriani. Guess what? I bought the same one in pink and black. And black and white. I love this little romper on my babies. We're going to do a change in chat later on. And we're about to change these babies. They've been in these clothes for over a week. And that's not like me. Because I like to change them on a daily. Because I change my clothes on a daily. So I change my baby's clothes on a daily basis. Yes, I do. And... I haven't been able to do that because I've been very sick, like I said, and I've been absent for a minute. So I'm back now, and I just wanted to make this video because I not only do I sell reborn doll art, you know, I also gain lots of friendships along the way. And that means more to me than any amount of dollars that you can pay me. Some people are only in this business for the money and they're stingy as fuck. Putting their dolls 1,200, 14, 15, no. Nah. nah, let me tell you something. The reborn doll artists that are out here charging all that money, trust and believe me, be patient. Be patient on the kit and the baby you want because I popped out of nowhere and people started looking at my babies like, who's this? And where is she from? And look at her babies. And that next reborn doll artist may, may, may blow your art away, may be equal to what you paint or different. And some people may like that reborn artist style more than what you're charging. So don't overcharge your babies. These are dolls. We are here to have fun with these babies. We are here to have fun with each other, be loving and kind to each other, not nasty and being trolls on the internet. That's, that's just no. Don't let people troll you around because that's what people are. I have a runny nose because of this weather. 
and I hate it because of my allergies. Anyways, um, like I was saying, don't let people define your happiness because of their negative comments and because they want to judge people and be so judgmental out here, judging you walking around with dolls who cares what people say. And I'm dedicating this video to all my reborn doll moms that I may inspire one more person today than I did yesterday. And that's my goal and that's what I'm gonna achieve and that's why I do what I do. Everything I do is to inspire another person to be who you are, love who you are, and who cares what people say about you. Don't care what other people think about you. That doesn't define your happiness and that doesn't define who you are as a person. You know who you are, love what you do, and love what you love. And don't let anybody tell you different. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel because our Reborn giveaway is right around the corner. Don't forget to subscribe and comment if you haven't already. Enter the our giveaway in August of 2024. We are having this giveaway and I'm thinking, and thinking and thinking who is going to be our lucky winner for our Michael Freemi. She is a beautiful sculpt. She is 13, she's almost 13 inches. She is one of the cutest Micro Freemies. Her little innocent face, such a cute baby. Her paint is peaches and cream. She is stunningly beautiful. I will see you guys soon. Talk to you later. Hope everybody had a lovely weekend now we got a new week started new beginnings new whatever but i know this is my second chance at what i want to do because this is where i belong i belong in the doll world yes i do thanks for watching